Hi guys, Fat Pudding here, welcome back. We are streaming Gran Turismo tonight. I bought the game, so why not give it a go? But we are currently trying to get the multiplayer unlocked, and to do that, you need to do s some menus. Um, something to do with food. Don't know why. Um, just turning the sounds down, everything's dead loud. So, we've got one more to do. One more car race to do. So, I hope you are uh, enjoying your weekend. What have you up to? Let me know what you're doing. And come and say hi if you feel so inclined. Right, we're going to Italy, the Autodrome Lago Maggiore. I do apologize for anyone who's Italian getting that wrong right we're doing the Sunday Cup Classic um, looks pretty straightforward don't know why these uh, Samba buses are in it because they don't actually really give you much of a challenge um, you can actually you can't change any of the car settings because it's we are in the basic um, part of the game not the juicy part as we should say when you're racing the fast cars racing all the crap at the moment so also let me apologize in advance for all the crappy music that's to do with the game not me but if you like that and you're so into classic cheesy music then give it a thumbs up right, here we go boys girls we are in the aqua the as i call it the hoover because it sounds just like a hoover when you're driving it there we go peeps let me know your thoughts on the car sounds guys it sounds just like a hoover in fact i think our hoover sounds a little bit better than this one actually assists i am running just abs i think Oh, round a Golf GTI, the old classic style. We used to have a polo back in the day, not a Golf. Oh, two akimbo, round the outside. The Fiat 500, 1968 version. Woohoo! It's nice to know what the cars are, because you actually tell you on top of them, which is pretty cool. We're in the apex there. Coming up against the um, Fiat Abrath. That car's changed over the years. Not a square anymore, it's more like a uh, curvy shape, as most girls are nowadays. Or takes the apex nicely. Mini Cooper, 1965 version. Let's check out this baby in all its glory. Used to have a Mini as well. And then a State, though, not a Coupe. With the old spotlight on the back, whatever reason. Blind people when you're reversing. Coming in a bit hot. But the, uh, the car can take it. I'm not sure if this is part electric, part... This could be actually an electric car. Because that's got an electric bar uh, in between the fuel gauge. But I could be wrong, that could just be fuel. We're on the final lap. As you can tell, we're smashing it. Up onto the uh, last corner coming up, right turn. Slamming on the brakes, trying not to lock it up. Takes the apex beautifully. Back round to the start finish line. No one's even close to us because we have got it set on novice. We have had to get our skill rates up. Look at that, guys. I'm that good. I won in the aqua Lewis Hamilton, eat your heart out for some reason my pad keeps turning itself off so apologise for that as well don't know why I think it's something to do with the fact that you're using the um, 
emote play to put it on my PC to stream it. And I've got the PC plugged into the computer. Hardwired, but it seems to keep disconnecting itself. Maybe it's something to do with the PlayStation settings. I might have it on something to do with that. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, we've won at our broth. Oh, yes, the 568 version. We are only up to collector level 3. We need to get to menu 9 to get the multiplayer. So that's the plan for tonight, guys. Not going to be the most exciting stream, but, you know, for people who want to get into the game. See, the pad's turned itself off again. For the people who want to get into the game, then it may be, uh, may be worth a watch. For people who uh, want to know what to do. Um, I didn't know what to do, it to Google it. Yeah, you have to um, do menu 9, and I think we're on menu 3. Um, so back to the cafe. To obviously get the menu. Don't know why. Absolutely stupid. Should just be unlocked straight from the bar. But I think it may be trying to give you the credits to buy cars or something. I don't know. Or XP. So I've done the European Classic collection. Uh, I'm not going to go through the spiel of all the uh, history behind it all. Oh, I've unlocked the tuning shop. Back to Luca to give us a little rundown on the Classics Compacts. So we've got the Beetle, the Abroth and the Mini Cooper. Maybe you don't know your cars? Don't ask me. I know nothing. I know nothing. Yes, they are really beautiful. Yeah, we're not going to watch all that. I'm sorry for people who want to watch it. But maybe some idiot out there who's actually... Recorded it all. Bro, we're on menu four. This is going to get spicy. I think we're going to have to start getting some better cars now. But we need to finish in the top three. High speed ranks. So that's going to be an older race. Let's up the cars a bit quicker. Ooh. Cutscene. sure what all this is about but we'll go with it oh it's just a little intro into the uh, high speed ring that I unlocked before and it's showing it again for some reason the tuning shop is open we're not going to go there we're going to carry on with the uh, menus because we're hungry I need to do all these to unlock this license. Do I? I've, um, I'm sure I've done this. I thought we were racing. Yeah, we've gone to the wrong place. Right, the final standings will determine by the total number of points earned for your performance in each race. You cannot change your car in the middle of the championship, make sure you choose carefully. Right. Do we get to choose a car then? I don't think we get to choose. Oh, we can choose between a Demio, Demio or the Aqua. Oh, let's change the car. Oh, the Honda Fit Hybrid has got 138 brake and a PP rating of 333 the Aqua's actually better but let's mix it up a bit let's go for the Demio we're doing oval racing of 5 laps a uh, bit of elevator music to keep you chilled out on this Saturday evening um, remotes had to turn itself off again. Right, let's get into this, guys. Wish me luck. Right, 
Around the outside, I cast past the Honda B coming up to the Honda S660. That looks like a quite modern car. And there's our uh, compadre, the Mazda Demio. This is the car we're in now. I've got to put the braking markers on, but we'll, uh, we'll do that next race. Keep forgetting. I've got to change gear, guys. Do apologise. Well, at least it's this manual gear. It's better than the automatic crap. Coming up on the Prius. We'll get on the inside line here. Gets the Prius. Got two laps to go. We need to finish in the top three. Yeah, faster Swift than the Honda Fit. Get in the inside line. Splendid. Sexy moves there. Bad of pudding. Knocked it down the gear, nearly blew the engine up. We've got two laps to catch this guy. Can we get up against the Mazda Altensa or Atensa? Just smashed the lap record at 23.846. He's coming up on him. He's getting into his slipstream. He's going to go for the switcheroo. He's going to go right then left. He's he's gone for it. He's on the inside. Can he get him? Oh, he's got him. Just on the finish line. Now that's a textbook win, guys. Textbook win. Woohoo! Spicy. And I've got my assets on, just to wind him up. Right, let's move on. We've got two more races to do. We've just earned another trophy called Buy a Whisker. We did win by a whisker. Maybe a big fat whisker, not a thin whisker. Um, daily workout, we need 26 miles. We're on 20.5, so we're getting close to that uh, objective as well. We're not watching the replay. So let's come out of that. Let's take the next race on. I presume it would be another oval race. Right. We've done that one. So we're off to Europe now. We've got three locations to pick from. We're going to Goodwood. I'd like to do them, but... Um, you need a certain car. Oh, I think actually I've got a mini actually. 30,000. We'll carry on with the objective. Two what? Two laps of good wood. I don't know if you can hear that beeping, guys. Uh, that's me pad turning itself off all the time. I have no idea why it does it. Maybe it's because I've got it plugged into USB 3. Oh, my bad. Hope it doesn't crash. Oh, for God's sake. All right, guys, back in a sec. The um, thing he's playing up. The remote play. Let me get this back on. And we'll get back in there. Come on, you stupid thing. What's up with this? I was doing this before. Right, we're cooking. going on here let's sort out the window capture uh, sorry about that guys it's playing up again I'm gonna have to fix it I don't know why it's doing that but anyway we're good to go let's get into this 
two races of Goodwood against the Samba Bus. Samba Bus. That's a great name for the van, isn't it? The Samba Bus. Yeah, I have forgot to put the braking markers on again, but. These guys are going for a Sunday cruise, and I'm not. It's that beat. Past the Mini Cooper. Blazing it down back in the good wood. Catching up to another Mini Cooper, I think. Smashing out 100 Gs here. Past the feet abroad. We're on the outside. Knock it down a cog. Oh, he's on the rails there, guys. Oh, spicy. Just breaking the 50 meter board there. Keeping a tight line on the inside apex. Back up towards the uh, start finish line. We've got two more cars. We're going to catch Herbert and Muri up. Nice transition into fifth gear. Like I said, I am running manual gears. Breaking just before the 50 board again. We've got a little tight little chicane coming up. Down a cog. Nearly blew the engine up, put it into second. We've got, two, we've got another lap to catch these guys, I'm sure we'll do it. We're in the top three anyway, that's all we need. Just coasting off the accelerator here, try to keep it on the track. Up towards that beautiful sunset on the horizon. Watch out for that flying helicopter. Come on helicopter, get out of the way mate. You put me off. I don't know what car this is in the front. It could be the same as what I'm driving. Oh, broke a bit early there. Got this car on the rails at the moment. It's a VW Golf. Is he going to send it up the inside? Oh, yes, he did. He scared him. It's a GTI 1983 model. Oh, we like those. Cruising for the victory now. We're on bonnet cam now, guys, for a bit of action. Don't want to scare you too much, but hold on to your hats. Tell you something, if this track was greasy, I would be all over the show now. Fat putting for the win. Woo! Another spicy win for the pudding. Close to that daily workout. It's not every day of what 25, 26 mile. I don't know why it keeps showing the replay. Right, back off that, and then we're back into the next race. We've only got to go to the Americas now to do one more race. Um, we've done Goodwood. We're off to oh, we're over to Asia and Oceania. The Broad Bean Race. Wait, I love the sound of it. Let's have it. We're going to stay with the uh, the Demio. Pretty decent car. A bit more exciting to drive down. The automatic Aqua. Oh, it's a noble track. So it's going to be extremely exciting, guys.
And guess what? It's a rolling start as well, just that makes it up a bit. Right, up to the Prius. Up on the inside against the Prius. Just keep it in fourth. That's me teammate. The Honda 660. I love you, buddy. Well, this is not an oval track. Oh, the Honda beat, man. Daihatsu Copen. Okay. Nice looking car. Small, though. Very small. Now we better get a win long. We've got um the catch this Mazda Atenza before the end of the lap. Round the outside, a bit spicy that one it. I think we've done enough. Put him for the win! Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. We're getting closer to that. Um... Have we unlocked the daily workout yet? We are so close. Yes, we've unlocked the daily workout. And we've got a ticket, whatever that's for. I think we've done them all, haven't we? Let's go back to the cafe and see what the, uh, the owner says. Hoping that's the case, we can just go to the cafe now and get our reward. Okay. I don't think it is given us. Finishing the top three. Well, haven't we done that? Oh, we've got to go to Sakuba and Suzuka. Have we? Oh, it's telling me I've got to go to the Oval. So we've done this wrong. Well, we don't need to go to the tuning shop. We need to go to the Oval and sign up. I'm sure we've just done this, but we'll do it again. Oh, I didn't know it was at the bottom. Right. Ooh, we can pick a Civic. Oh, no, we can't. We'll stay with the one we've got. There's actually a Civic in it, though. Ooh, this looks spicy. So it's two races of the high-speed ring. And the music's getting a bit up tempo just to get into that uh, mood <laughs> don't forget guys we've got a merch giveaway when we get 100 followers first ticket is free check out the details in the chat that's just turn itself off again right I should stop telling you that because I'm sure you're getting a bit annoying. Okay, Fraga, let's have this, mate. We always seem to be starting at the back. Why can't we start at the front? Okay, this oval looks a bit bigger than the ones we've been... 
currently racing. We've got two laps. We need to finish the top three. Yeah, this is definitely a massive oval, isn't it? Yeah, before you mention it, I forgot to put the braking markers on again. We are cruising now. We are just gliding past these. Oh, there's there's the uh, the guy. There's his face. Oh, well, in fact, it's actually on all the cars. Oh crap! Nice haircut, dude. He's caught me on the inside quarter. Gonna hold the line. Going on the inside line apex. Gets a swift under the bridge. Some hot action. Not really. And a bit of a lag spike there for some reason. Tell he's, he's he's actually screwing the ass out of that swift. to break a bit there I was thinking he might, might hit him or he might hit me or spin me out going around the outside now oh, and that's what I'm talking about mate lovely jubbly up into second place Hundred and seven mile an hour. This is gonna be the Civic up front. I've seen out in the picture. We are catching him though. Well, that must be that guy's twin brother, because that guy looks exactly the same picture. Then the other fella just passed. Don't know if I'm going to catch this guy. You are cutting down. He's still keeping it over one second though. car's definitely got more grunt in the straight line it's pulling away from me on the straights yeah he's up to a second and a half now we're just going to keep the power and hope we can catch him it may work out on the back straight any slipstream pulling out famous last words come on baby No, oh, he's got the grunt to keep him, keep him ahead of me. Woo! That was a close race. But anyway, we've got the objective. Yeah, that Civic is definitely a quick car on a straight line. Punk two per second. Okay, this is actually a two-race tournament, so I need to basically beat him in the next race. I'm hoping to uh, claim victory. But the problem is, he's in the same car. So I might need to change cars to get the objective done. And it doesn't help when he start the back. Here we go again. That's the replay, my bad. <laughs> oh, next race. Here we go, guys. High speed ring track day two. It's actually the same track. I need to finish first. 
And if he finishes second, then I don't know what the deal is. Maybe fastest lap. Weather doesn't look good. Looks like it's going to be a slippy one. Oh, it's raining. I'm at the back. Can I change the uh, tyres? No, you can only have medium tyres. Can you have wet? It's a bit crap, isn't it? Let's put the braking markers on. Keep forgetting to do that. Right, that's done. Here we go guys. This is gonna be this is gonna to be tough to get first. You may have to do this again and swap cars. As you can see just below the screen there uh, the windscreen wipers. But I'm not racing inside as you know, so hopefully we won't get any rain effects on the screen. I don't know if we're doing this track reverse or not. I think we are. Let's keep that speed going around the corner. Should slingshot us up towards the close, closer cars at the front. Hopefully this guy is struggling in that car and I'll be able to catch him. Because I know if he gets on the straights, I'm not going to catch him. As you can see the, the timing, he's pulling away from me again. If we need to beat this guy or just finish in the top three. wasn't a good corner. Did that exactly the same on the last lap. Needed a big enough lead for when it comes to the back straight because he's definitely going to catch me up. Four and a half second lead, let's watch that come down now. Actually keeping it at four and a half, which is good.
going off second still. You might have this, you might have it. Yes, we won. Definitely only because of the conditions. Not because it was a better driver. The other guy was a bit too attentive, I think. Podium fixture, trophy. Okay, we got the same points, so does what does that mean? I, I'm top, that doesn't make any sense. But we'll go with that anyway. Okay, don't know why, we had the same points. Ooh, we got given some cars. Nice. Ooh, and the Honda. Select the card. Ooh, pick the best car out of the three, I think. The Integra. Thank you very much. We'll have that. Well, if we can actually pick that car for the next race, that would be pretty good. No, we're not watching the replay. I'm sure that was too too much excitement for everybody. Right. We are getting close to that menu nine, guys, to unlock the um, multiplayer, which we are striving for. I'm sure everyone's going to have to go through this grueling nonsense just to play online. I've just unlocked the Sakuba and Suzuka. And a part POI called the Pavilion. And we are now on menu book five. Let's see what this entails. We need to collect Japanese front wheel drive sports cars. Right. And we get a ticket for doing it. Let's see where we need to go. I think we need to go to the World Circuits. Let's have a look. And we're going to Asia Oceana. I think this is where the scuba is. It certainly is. And we are racing that now. We're doing the front wheel 450 challenge, two laps. So that means pits. But we are going to change cars, if we can. We are definitely going to go for the Integra Type R. Juicy. This is what I'm talking about. The game's getting a bit more spicy now, guys. We need to finish in the top three. Two laps of Sukuba, if that's how you pronounce it. And if it isn't, well, everyone's to the wrong. Two laps. Top three. Can we change anything to do with the car settings? Ooh, we can have soft tyres. That's about it, I think. Let's go for it. Definitely got a bit more grunt than the other car we've just been driving. Nice little tight line there. We're on the outside there. Locking it in. Nice tight little apex turn, right turn there. Lighten the wheels up, get them nice and hot. On the rev limiter. There's my teammate there, but we're going to have him. 
Come up against Fraga, our nemesis. It's no match to us in this Integra. Got him on the inside line. Took that bit wide. Hopefully he shouldn't do a cutback on me. It's working, plan. The plan is working. Be aggressive. The only thing I'm not uh, keen about is the driving line. It doesn't show you where to brake. It just tells you on the hood instead. Which I'm not a fan of. I think it's just keep keep to the you know the way the game was made. So when it's red, that's where you brake. But this thing isn't showing you. That's what I'm talking about. A fantastic win for the Nissan Integra. No, sorry. Honda Integra, not Nissan. It's all good, though. It's all good. We've got a clean race bonus. We've actually reached 100,000 credits. And we've only been on this game for about... I'd say about an hour and 20 minutes. Ooh. Yes, we just unlocked the Suzuki Swift Sport. We'll have that. I'll collect the levels up to level 4 now. We are getting some juicy cars in the garage that we can use. Or we, hopefully we can sell. I don't know if we can sell them in this game. Let me go um, to the options and check out this braking marker thing. I'm not sure why it's not showing on the driving line. Maybe you should have it on braking. Let's go up and have a look. What would it be under? It's not under that. Let's turn that off. We don't want that on anymore. We've watched the opening movie. definitely not in here it's um, it's got to be in the options main options of the have we, we've done that right, let's come out of there let's go to Suzuki now and do the next race we're staying with the same car because it's definitely the fastest I think we need to oh we win the Civic if we actually win get third or higher so that's all good Right, let's check out the settings for the assists. So, we've got the driving line on. Ah, there we go, corner indicators. Let's turn that off the hood then. So that should be it. It should show the little um, circular things on the track. Here we go again. This is three laps of the mini version of uh, Suzuka. Yep, we've got the braking markers on, that's better. Oh, we have got traction control turn off, but it's actually coming up on the screen, I don't know why. Whoa, that was spicy. This 
is the short circuit. I hope it is. Yeah. It's good job we got three laps to catch this guy because I don't think we could do it in two. Oh, it doesn't switch through on me there. Kudos for you there, mate. Good move. Bit of a cheeky move, but it's worked. It's paid off. We've got traction control on. Let's turn off that completely then. Use a little bit of uh, engine braking there on that corner. It's quite that a treat. Sounds better without no traction on. That used to break at all on those corners. Well, that's what I call an emphatic win, guys. Yep, yeah, the pads turn itself off. Yes, again. So guys, if you're using a pad on your PC to do remote play, a word of advice, if you've got to plug into a USB 3 connector, it seems to turn itself off. Hardwired, that is. But if you plug into USB 2, it doesn't actually keep itself on for some reason. So, don't you know? Let me know your thoughts if you're having the same problem, but um, it's really annoying. Um, I only presume it's got something to do with, like I said before, the settings in the PlayStation, but I will look into that and maybe do a bit of a Google search. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we've achieved, I think, what we need to do. Now, that car is definitely a juicy car. The Type R, the 98 model, just like the uh, Integra. Uh, two on the a Suzuki. So we've got the cars we need. We've got to be on menu five now, getting close to menu nine, which we need for the multiplayer. We're not watching the replay. Let's get back to the cafe and speak to whatever his name is. Uh, yep, yeah, going back to the cafe. That's correct. I'm going to go and see Manuel. At Faulty Towers, he's gonna give us something to do, like some more cars to race or whatever. Another menu. Menu six, getting closer. Look at those, look at those juicy cars. Nice little thumbnail there, guys, for my phone. Luca, come on, Luca, we're gonna name you, um, not Luca, because that's a boring name. Got another roulette ticket. Don't know what you do with those. Maybe go to the... Oh my god, look who it is. Some old guy called Chris. What up, Chris? Right. We've done the Japanese collection. We don't want to hear about the history, mate. 
Yeah, so that's what all that. Thanks for that information, Luca. Appreciate it. We're on six now. What up, Chris? Nice haircut, mate. Let's go to six. Bit of the old elevator music in the background. Right, what we need to do here, we need to go to Sardegna in Italy. Your goal is to create a car that can be entered into Europe's Sunday Cup. Okay. Why not try and tune a 65 Mini Cooper S? So as a PP of 360. Sport tires as well. Okay. Don't forget you can tune your car your you can't tune the car you're currently driving. So we need to get into a mini 65 Cooper S. Right, let's do that. A mini Cooper uh, 65S tune up to right yo what up dude Rupert yeah right we need to get the car first so let's change the car So I think we need to go to our garage first. Change to the Mini Cooper. We've got quite a few cars in here now, I'm hoping. Alright, Mini Cooper 65, there she is. We're going to get in that one. Yep. And we are going to tune it. But a bit of classical music in the background, what do you think? Right. Right, we need to tune it to... What was it? I can't think on the top of my head. Did he say soft tyres? No, oh, let's go and have a look. Go back to the cafe. Got a memory like a sieve. Do apologise. You're all shut when at the screen now, go on. I only told you two seconds ago. What's up with you? Right. Three sixty. Right. And sport tires. Okay. Three sixty sport tires. Let's do this. Right down to the tuning shop. 360 sport size. Let's put some sport size on. We'll go for sport soft. They're only three grand a pop. In fact, let's go for those. They're only 1100 a pop. Yep, we've got the sport size on. Um, we can turn up to 360. Now, we're on 308 at the moment. Let's put on a air filter. What's that going to do? Yep. Right. We'll put on a racing exhaust. A sports computer. Some sports racing pads. Oh no, we've already put them on. Oh, 323, we can go to 360. What about racing reduction? Yeah, we'll have that. We're up to 340. Oh, we're getting a big and juicy here, guys. What is going on? Did I press the wrong button? Yeah, sorry about that. Then join that music then. We need to look for big uh, increases, not small increases. I reckon ballast would be a big thing. Three sixty. Let's do a bore out the engine. Put some high lift camshafts in. We're getting close to that three sixty mark, guys. Uh, here we go. High press, uh, uh, high 
compression pistons and we're good to go just under 360 we're on 359 82 break right let's go back to the cafe find out where we need to go Right, I've done that. Do we, is that all we need to do? Just un, just unlock a car? Okay, we just need to tune it. We don't need to race it. Right, let's get back into the uh, tuning garage. We are 360. Maybe you have to go over 360. Let's put one more item on there then. Do apologize just for being so stupid. Right, let's go for that. That's taking us down. We don't want to do that. There we go. Let's go back to the cafe. We've done it. We've tuned the car. We've spent a, sh a lot of money. Uh, what are we doing here? What have we done? Do apologize. Don't know what I'm doing. Back to the cafe. That should be the menu six done. Okay, we've just unlocked a new track. In fact, we've actually unlocked quite a few. We're on menu seven now. We're two away from the objective. Oh. Okay, what we've we got to do here? European hot hatches. Right, we need to obviously race three cars. Uh, collect three cars. Right, let's go for that then. Not sure what cars we're going to have to, um, if we need to change cars, we're currently in the Mini Cooper. So we're going over to the World Circuits again. Right, Europe, we've got five locations to pick from. We're going to go Brands Hatch first race. Yeah, let's have a look at the cars we can pick. Yeah, we're, we're going to stay with the Mini, the one that we've tuned. So we'll go with that. Okay, top three, let's do this. We are racing the Mini Cooper, 65. Tuned up by moi. Manual gears, let's turn off the traction control if we can. Make it a bit more spicy, like a hot curry. Manual gears. On the inside, smashed it past the DS3. Get your heart out, Citroen. Past the Clio RS, up to the VW Polo GTI 2014 version. He's yanking on the brakes. We're going to do the slipperoo on the inside. That's a nice little line there. Tighten the apex on the right turn. Up towards the Audi TT. We've got three laps to catch the leader. Not sure how far away he is, but we'll have a look. Go and uh, bumper cam now, guys, for a bit more uh, intense action. Audi TT, come on, mate, let's have you.
There we go, we got my um, partner in crime just up ahead, my teammate. His name's Billy. Come on, Billy, out the way, lad. Look towards Mr. Lopez. In the Renault Megane, I think that is. Got one more lap to catch the two leaders. Can we finish in first place? 1.5 seconds off the lead. In fact, off second place. These guys have got the toll on the back straight. No break. Smashing up the inside into fourth gear. Is she going to go for the lunge? A double lunge. Past the Renault McGann. Oh, and he's slipped on a switcheroo on the Peugeot 208. This mini is a beast. In the right hands. James Bond, eat your heart out. I think James Bond should have a mini in these films. Great advertisement for British manufacturing, I think. Look at that, smashed it. Put it for the win. Woohoo! No shame in that, mate, getting beat by a mini. Tuned by me. Fun's happy. getting close to that menu guys I think by the time I this all these menus I'll be getting something to eat because I'm getting a bit peckish <gasps> excuse me we've got two more cars to win let's see what tracks we need to um, be racing next I think we're going to be staying in uh, the Asia region, Oceania region. Definitely tracks we've not raced before. I mean, we have raced Brands Hatch before, as you know. We've got that one. We need to go to France now, and then we need to go down to uh, Italy. We've done the Italian track. I don't think we've done this one before. Let's see what cars we can pick. I think we'll just stay with the Mini. In fact, that one's way quicker than ours. It's 167 break. Let's pick it. Um, it's got a massive PP of 443. So let's let's hit that up and give that a go. It may be worth it. Three laps of Alsace test course reverse. Oh, it's a nighttime race as well, just to spice it up a bit. Another track I've not raced before. It's a bit of a precarious corner. It's like a going over the hill. Don't even know where you where you're going. Right, 
wrong idea to uh, be playing about with the settings of the car when I'm coming to a, a, a tight turn. But anyway, we'll um, hopefully catch these guys up. Oh, that was a crazy corner, I have to say. It's just break that a lot earlier. Those breaking markers, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at, I'm wrong or what. Love this corner though, it's amazing. Right, this is the corner to break early on. Pad's just turned itself off. What is going on? Oh my god. I do apologise, guys. <laughs> the game's crashed. Oh, what's it doing? What's it doing? Oh. Oh, right, guys. So we'll be a set. Uh, what is going on? The game? Do I have to do that race again? Come on, turn on. Right, uh, let's get back into this. That's not going to work now, is it? Um, let's turn that off and put that on and change this. For some reason, it seems to go back. Right, let's go uh, continue. Oh, I, I can't continue, not reproach, retry. All oh, right, sorry guys, we have to do this again. The game, the controller decided to turn itself off in the last corner. Maybe you don't want to watch it again, you can always fast forward it. Do it uh, I'm sorry. Nice little move there. Up over the hill. It's 
Turn the traction control off. Don't run any SS back from ABS. Seems to be de do better this time around because we know where we're going. We've only got one lap to go and it's hopefully the uh, controller won't turn itself off again. Put me in a wall. Now I have heard there's an exploit in this game where if you hug the corner apexes it makes you quicker. I mean, I presume it's going to be an advantage if you're playing uh, online, because you're cheating in a way, aren't you? Um, but some of the fastest uh, times in the world are due to that exploit, and you definitely need to patch it out. I can't believe these people actually find these things out just to be a cheat. But all the best drivers in the world on this game are doing it, apparently. I'm not going to name any names, but you know who you are. Anyway, that's a win. We're getting closer. I'm going to be right back. I need a quick of toilet stop. And we'll be back to continue. How can I say? Hi guys, welcome back to the stream. We're just going to continue on. Let's hope the pad's not turned itself off again. We've nearly doubled our daily workout today. We're on nearly 60 miles. We just unlocked the uh, 2009 Albras 500. Getting close to collection level 5. We are going to go to the next race. Which, if I find out what that is, I will let you know forthwith. Going down to Italy in uh, Sard Sardinia, is it? I do apologize for all the people who live there for my bad pronunciations. But stay with the Mini because it is actually um, very overpowered, I think, compared to the AI. Um, you want to call it being fur, it's definitely not, but maybe due to the settings I currently have, um, 
in the game itself because you have got to set it on um, novice not expert I think when it comes down to racing online we are going to struggle but we will try our best right um, what we got here two laps of the Sardinia road track B in the uh, Mini Cooper S here we go Have to stretch your control. Just on the rev limiter there for the first gear. Nearly went to the uh, barriers there. I thought that was the pit lane for a second. Gonna up to up into third place now, up to fourth place. Sorry, going for the VW Golf. Never no, raced this track before. I don't think. But not in the daylight anyway. Maybe in the night time. Nearly hit that wall then, about 100 100 mile an hour. Doing, doing all right. We're up into third, and we've got another lap yet. On the inside there. Up against the Peugeot. Don't know what that shadow was then. Was that a plane or something? Don't know what that was. So guys, let me know what you think. Are you playing this game yourselves? Um, are you currently just bought it and you're doing the uh, the menus like myself? Or do you race online? Are you enjoying the multiplayer? Be good to know what you think. I mean, all the videos I've seen online, they have been um, really, really enjoyable to watch. So I'm hoping. Oh, the pad's just turned itself off. Why should I keep doing that? I need to sort that out. That's annoying. I mean, these these desists are good to have if you don't know the track, and I certainly don't know this track, so the good to know when you're learning. That's definitely a great way, I reckon. And also um, putting on um, ghosts of people who've done really fast laps is a good way to learn as well. And just watching where, where they break and you know what the driving line is is a good way to learn to get quick. But I use a pad, so I haven't got a wheel. Um, obviously, a wheel is better because you get to uh, you know you get that feeling in your in your hands and that. But pad's different. But uh, it's definitely a good way to learn, though. Definitely to get quicker in the game, I think. That's a good win. That Mini Cooper is a superb car. You can really throw it around, I have to say. And we've got some of our money back that we used to tune up the Mini, which is good. So we've unlocked those. We've got to be getting close to menu nine now. I think we're on menu. Are we on menu six or seven? Anyway, everything's a bonus. That's all I say. 
Let's get back to uh, Manuel in the cafe. I know his na name's not Manuel, but we keep saying that. Yes, we know to go back to the cafe. We're co so close to the multiplayer now. So close. It'd be good if we were on eight. Oh, nice thumbnail, guys. Look at that. Hot hatches complete. Okay, Manuel, Luca, you've got all these three cars. Yeah, we've got to watch. Was that? I don't know what that was unlocked. Oh, seven. We've got two more to unlock. We could do this before it gets t turns in tomorrow. Turns into tomorrow. That is. Let's not go through all the history of all that. Okay, eight we are on to. Oh, wrong button. Escapes and shortcuts provisions are now open and they look pretty interesting. But before we get into all that, I still have to change some on red. It's about custom having the way it looks. Watch one of your cars. Okay, that's pretty easy. Let's get over there then. We'll go straight to nine and then we're pretty much done for the, the um for what we need to do. No, it's not it's not it's not the car wash. We want the car wash, don't we? Is it the car wash we need? Yeah, here we go. Yep, yeah, we're gonna wash your car off and an achievement. Let's do this. Not bothered which one. Something dirty. Ooh baby, dirty. Just gonna wash your car. Ooh, 350 said. Hello, Clayton. Wash the car, baby. It's been washed. Work complete. Pads off again. Have we done that now? Can we go back to the um, cafe? Didn't we just do what he said us said for us to do? Let's quickly jump in there and see what happens. We only need to do one more menu, I think. Wash one of your cars at G2 also? Yeah, that's what I've done. Didn't I? Right. Maybe you don't you don't have to wash the car that you're not in, basically, I don't know. Okay, we'll do it again then. Thank God for that, what a faff. Right, we're not doing an oil change or anything like that. Let's get back to the uh, cafe. With the annoying music in the background. We've unlocked a few things. We're on nine now. This is what we need. Menu nine. For this menu, I'd like to go to World Circuits and take part in the Tokyo Highway Parade. I need a national B license is required to enter. Oh crap. Right guys, um, I think I need to do all the B licenses to get the option to take part. So I think what we'll do, we'll leave it for this one. We will continue this in the next one. We'll do the um, licenses which is I'll quickly show you um, it's under the so we need to do um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to do eight of those, get my B license before I can take part in menu nine. And then that will give us the multiplayer. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Don't forget, um, hit me up on social media. I'm on all platforms. Link is in the chat. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.